Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Friends, the topic for today is once again Ginkgo Bioworks or ticker symbol DNA. As a genomic investment contact, content creator, I find that DNA keeps me uh, busy whenever there is a slow news day. They are in the news once again as their subsidiary Zymergen has declared bankruptcy. For this and more, let's take a closer look at DNA. Let's get started. Welcome back, friend. The Zymogen story is like a fast-paced thriller that unfolds in 45 minutes, maybe like an episode of 24. Let's take a step back into time. Around April 2021, Zymogen announced the pricing of its public uh, initial public offering of 16.1 uh, million shares of its common stock at a public offering price of $31 per share. In addition, Zymergen had granted the underwriter a 30-day uh, option to purchase up to an additional 2.4 uh, million shares of its common stock at the initial uh, public offering price, less underwriting discounts and commissions. What was the business of Zymergen, you may ask? Well, Zymergen would engineer microbes that could be fermented to make uh, the products, such as uh, yeast in is fermented to create bread or beer. So Zymergen raised $500 million when it went public in April, on top of the more than $1 billion in venture funding it got. However, um, somewhere around August, its CEO was out as the company was uh, unable to say when it may have uh, commercial revenue. Seems like a case of mismanagement of expectations, I would say, as they had backing from SoftBank and were a very high profile uh, IPO when it, ha when it happened. Then, after this debacle, Zymergen found a buyer in Ginkgo Bioworks, which agreed to acquire the company for $300 million. On October 19, 2022, Ginkgo completed the acquisition of Zymergen, or at least that's the press release they put out. The acquisition was expected to significantly enhance Ginkgo's platform by integrating strong automa automation and software capabilities, as well as a wealth of experience across diverse biological engineering approaches that was, uh, uh, that was created by Zymergen. Under the terms of the merger agreement entered into on, uh, I think, somewhere around July, end of July uh, 2022, Zymergen uh, stockholders received for each share of Zymergen common stock, uh, 0 0.9179 shares of Ginkgo, uh, Ginkgo stocks. Uh, that was class A common stock of uh, DNA. Zymergen shares will, uh, were then uh, discontinued from the, uh, from the NASDAQ stock exchange and Ginkgo class A shares now contained what used to be uh, Zymergen and it continued to trade on NYSE under the ticker symbol DNA. The deal reportedly cost uh, $300 million uh, to Ginkgo Bioworks and when I heard uh, the news of the acquisition at that time, I thought that Ginkgo had bought everything. However, now the news report that I read indicates that Ginkgo got only non-exclusive license for Zymergen's IP. Here is exactly how Ginkgo described the current situation. Ginkgo had entered into an arm's length non-exclusive license uh, agreement with Zymergen regarding Zymergen's intellectual property, including databases, automation, and software capabilities. Zymergen's bankruptcy won't affect the license, and Ginkgo's rights under it remains unchanged. Uh, that's what uh, Ginkgo Bioworks is saying now. Okay, and over and above that, they say, in connection with the bankruptcy filing, Ginkgo has entered an exclusive agreement to acquire most of Zymergen's intellectual property and relevant assets, and Ginkgo bid uh, involves $5 million in cash and up to $77 million in potential future liabilities of Zymergen that it would uh, agree to pay. So it may end up paying the ent entire $77 million if it comes to it, or maybe most of these potential liabilities may fizzle out and they may not even pay $77 million. That is yet to be seen. And this includes employee costs according to the company. This begs the question, what was the 300 million acquisition all about? I mean, I was thinking that they gave 300 million dollars and acquired a company which just a year and a half ago uh, was uh, had an IPO of 500 uh, plus million and already had one uh, one billion dollars in it. So we are looking at 1.5 billion 
being available at 300 million and i was thinking it was a great deal at that time i remember i made a video and i said this is a great deal a competitor is gone and all their assets have come into uh, ginko that was my thought and now when i look at uh, this uh, fine tuning about you know we had a arms length agreement for the ip and assets and now we are paying we are going to pay 5 million dollars for the asset plus 77 million in potential liabilities of zymergen and i'm thinking that something is not adding up for me i may be wrong but if any of you have an idea please let me know it seems like a stupid question but uh, i really don't know how ginko could acquire zymogen for 300 million dollars and now want to pay another dollar 82 million to pay the ip uh, to uh, to buy the ip and relevant assets there must be an explanation for sure i'm missing something just i don't know please let me know if you have any idea put that in the comment because you know as retail investors we need to know this stuff and i'm really shocked at my ignorance uh, honestly uh, i i thought that zymergen was totally acquired by ginko and they had everything now this new 88 million makes me really doubt my own um, valuation of uh, ginko bioworks anyway today i placed a standing order for dna at uh, $1.52 valid until the next weekend let us see if i get any that said if we look at the um, macro environment right the us house of representatives is in a mess and uh, before we know the 45 days funding will be over i think there are just 35 days of funding left and we will have a new uh, funding round to worry about we don't know who is going to be the house speaker we don't know if they will be able to come into uh, agreement with the democrats but the market seems to be Uh, myofic and are uh, going up with uh, all these issues in the background it's still going up i saw that the market was green today even dna uh, went up so uh, i don't know what the heck is happening out there maybe in the last minute like uh, a reckless driver drives very fast and puts a brake on the last minute to stop the car i suppose in the last minute I mean, just a day or two before uh, the funding is going to be over uh, maybe the market might drop i don't know so is is it now time to get out uh, of the market and stay in cash i don't know but that thought enters my mind uh, please let me know what you guys think i would like to know the community's thought on what you think about ginkgo bioworks and the zymergen issue why did they pay 300 million why did they say they acquired zymergen and why are they now paying around 88 million dollars to acquire the assets and ip of uh, zymergen it beats me the second question for which i need an answer from our community i want your thoughts do you think it's time to sell the shares and wait in cash because of the uh, the funding crisis maybe the government get closed because the house is now without a leader and uh, it doesn't seem that they are going to get their act together and on the other end there is a lot of political shenanigans going on outside the courthouse so it all looks like a mess to me so those who are in us or us viewers please give me some wisdom from your vantage point with that i would like to end this video bye for now